I don't believe in hope anymore and I never use the word hope anymore, ever. Like I won't even just, you know, oh, I hope you feel better. Or, like I hope it goes well. Like what's the point of that? What is the point of that? You know, I just sort of accept things as they come and I don't pray anymore because I prayed every day, every day. And I had so many friends and family, you know, across the world praying for Nora and it made no difference. Two months after she came home from the NICU, she turned blue. Doctor comes in and says, um, you know, the things are gonna be very different from now on because Nora has pulmonary hypertension. They were optimistic that Nora might not follow the normal course of the disease, that she might, instead of it progressing and getting worse, they told us that she would get better because her pulmonary hypertension was caused by being a preemie. And for two and a half years, the disease didn't progress. And she did grow. She grew, she ate well, she developed, she was super smart. Very strong, she was running around like crazy. I mean, she was still in oxygen, but she was moving her all over the house, she was in the backyard, playing with her baseball bat and stuff. So that was really fun. First couple times she fainted, I didn't know how serious it was. I didn't know. And the doctors were kind of taking a wait and see attitude, I think. And then as she continued to faint, then they started to explain how serious it was. In October of 2012, she had a central line placed and that central line delivered a continuous infusion of this pulmonary hypertension medication. So basically what happened is she developed um, an allergy to something with the dressing change. We don't know what. And so the home health nurse told us to change the dressing change protocol. And sure enough, not too long after we switched protocols, she got a central light infection. Like I'm talking about how, you know, she could run like any other kid. Well, even after that first infection, she couldn't. They switched her back to the central line, but they followed the same like lesser dressing change protocol, clearly didn't work. She just kept getting worse and worse and worse. I could hear her little voice in the mask and she said, she said, please help me feel better. and I cradled her in my lap. Like I would when she was a baby, but she was such a big girl now, you know? She was really tall and, and her long legs, and I just held her. And she just slipped away. The thing is that it's such, a, such an important job to, to work in healthcare and provide care compared to any other business, you, you almost have to expect a sort of higher standard than almost in any other field. How do you make sure that the staff is implementing what we know works? And I think that there has to be a culture at every hospital that says, we're not going to accept central line infections. We're not going to accept them.